before we go this morning. Tom Oosterhout is going to fill us in on everything that is happening around town. <laughs> what is that? Anyway, yeah, we got it all going on this weekend. And I want to mention in particular the Willy Wonka and the Fat Chocolate Factory benefit at the Southernmost House. Mm -hmm. It's been going many years now. And my uh, late lawyers, I mean, my lawyers, the late wife, started it all those years ago with her kids. And it's a very, very... Uh, worthy benefit for the uh, American Cancer Society here in Key West. Mm -hmm. And we love that. Mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, it's such a worthy, worthy cause. So all the proceeds from Sunday's event go, go right cancer, back. Uh, you know to the american cancer study right, right back right. to cancer research and that's right well anytime you say willy wonka and chocolate i'll be there okay? well i will see you there miss <laughs> jenna wow 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 well, sounds good so along with that i know there's also some local plays well the theaters are about to crank up all their la last show of the season mm -hmm. at the red barn it'll be the death trap which opens next week and uh, the waterfront it's um and the waterfront is Death Trap, right. and uh, Red Barn, Red is, Barn Oklahoma is Oklahoma Smith, Smith and mm -hmm. the Pantheon of Annihilation. That's an easy to remember name. <laughs> <laughs> it's a little tough. And what's right going there. on over there at Fringe? <laughs> at Fringe, they have the Conquer Public Musical, and they also have Key West Characters. That's a play, and it's starring Bum Fardo. The but, story of Bum Do you know about Bum Fardo? I know a little bit about him. Mm -hmm. I know that he went missing, right? Mm hmm And they never found him. Right. But that's about all that I know. <laughs> <laughs> I know he had a good reputation, right? Uh, right, A right. reputation for being quite the mm -hmm. character. So. And something I wanted to mention. Uh, last summer, my good friend Ed Swift had me, uh, flew me up to Boston to cover his new Boston Tea Party Museum, which is a high-tech wonder. It's like right out of Disney World. It's so marvelous. I mean, it was just fantastic. But I was in Boston for a week. And it just so happens the museum is in the middle of downtown Boston and uh, right off of Exeter. And anyway, um, that's where we all stayed that week. And that just happens to be the exact location of the bombing. Mm -hmm. And so when I turned on the TV this past week to watch all that, I was just stunned because all the locales that I stayed in for a week were right there. Mm -hmm. And uh, Boston Commons, Boston Harbor, Exeter Street, uh, let's see, uh, Fenway Park, they're all right there. And uh, it was just stunning to see all that and, you know, have seen all that close up and personal. Mm -hmm. And while I was up there, I had one of my back episodes and they uh, had to call the uh, paramedics and the hotel uh, GM came to help me too. And these people were so nice. And, you know, and so the people of Boston are just wonderful. I mean, they reached out to help me every way they could. Mm -hmm. And uh, I just can't say enough about the people of Boston. Mm -hmm. And I'm so proud they survived this horrible catastrophe or tragedy. Mm -hmm. And uh, that uh, they are defiant. They say next year the marathon will be bigger and better than ever. It absolutely will. And they really have showed the world the meaning of Boston Strong. I mean, exactly. they've come together yeah, and exactly. it's and, uh, awesome. I, I love the uh, the baseball uh, game right after at Fenway Park and uh, Neil Diamond came and they all started singing apparently the, the Boston team theme song Sweet Caroline and everybody was singing. Mm -hmm. Neil Diamond was just mm -hmm. going crazy and what a time. And mm -hmm. uh, But it showed their resilience and their ability to survive mm -hmm. such a horrible, horrible thing. Right. And I think they were uh, uh, a symbol for America to mm -hmm. say that this is what we got to do. Mm -hmm. You got to rise above it, right? Mm -hmm. Always rise above it. And speaking of that, Tom, I know they're putting on a fundraiser down at the Lazy Gecko next Tuesday night for the those affected by the mm -hmm. Boston tragedy. All the tips that they raise on Tuesday night will go to the One Fund Boston. And mm -hmm. that's a fund mm -hmm. that's been put together by the governor and the mayor to help those who were highly affected. And I want to mention, a lot of people probably saw the news that they've, uh, the mayor of Boston announced that they've already raised uh, $20 million, mm -hmm. but there was 200 people hurt in that bomb. Right. 40, 40 of them are like critical, mm -hmm. and of course three people were killed, including that young Martin Richard, uh, which broke my heart. 
But anyway, if you do the numbers and break it up, it's still not that much. Right. When people, uh, 40 people lost limbs, mm -hmm. you know, most of them legs, uh, to divide that up, I mean, these people, are, you know, prosthetics are very expensive. Right. They have great ones this day and time, right. thanks to our wars overseas. But, right. um, you know, but it's going to take a lot of money to get these it people, will. not to make a bad pun, back on their feet again. Yeah. And, uh, Yep, so support them while you can. Mm -hmm. And that is going to do it for us this morning. Tom, thank you for being on today. Oh, I love it. I love it. <laughs> Give me a kiss. <laughs> <laughs> All right, everybody, have a great day. Take care. All righty. It'll be okay. It'll be okay.